Okay, today I'm going to show multi-factor on Splunk through CyberArk Identity. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll notice here I have a link to sign into our Splunk environment. This is a self-hosted Splunk environment, although the same could be true for uh, Splunk in the cloud. But I'm going to go ahead and click that link to sign into Splunk. We'll notice that I'm going to get redirected to CyberArk Identity every time. So we're actually proxying this back to CyberArk Identity in order to sign in. Now here at CyberArk Identity, I can go ahead and sign in with my corporate credentials, typically our AD credentials, although this could be any directory system we have integrated. So I'm going to sign in with the username, password, and in this case I have multi-factor on our account. Uh, we'd see what our admin allows us to leverage for multi-factor and what we have registered. So we can see a couple different options that I have registered today that I'm allowed to use for MFA. I'm going to go ahead and use our uh, CyberArk Identity's mobile authenticator. So I'll pull that up here. Um, we could get a push notification to our device. In this case, I'm going to actually send the push to CyberArk. Cool. And just like that, we're signed into Splunk. So uh, again, the only way to sign into Splunk is through going through that multi-factor authentication process. Now, if I go ahead and uh, another way we could do this is to go directly to the portal, the CyberArk Identity portal, and sign in to our CyberArk Identity portal. Here we'd see all of our applications. We could actually layer on multi-factor specifically on top of Splunk um, or give users SSO access if we wanted. So once they've signed into our CyberArk Identity portal with MFA, we could just let them do a SSO right into Splunk. And of course, this all can be tied into CyberArk Identity's ability to do uh, risk verification as well. So we can see things like where the user signing in from, uh, what IP they're signing in from, what device they're signing into, uh, if there have been login attempts throughout the country or throughout the world globally on the account. We can take all of this into account and make the decision whether or not we want to prompt that user for multi-factor authentication on the basis of how risky this login event is as well. So I hope that gives everyone a good idea of the art of possible, that we can uh, easily put MFA in front of um, any application that supports single sign-on, especially Splunk, uh, and some of the risk capabilities and contextual capabilities we have in terms of when MFA is applied as well to the user. So thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I hope this video was helpful.